Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Melinda and this is my slightly graying husband, Adine. And together we are Hustlin' Hooks. And this is another series of our What Sold This Weekend videos. We go through our weekend sales starting from Friday, Saturday and Sunday of course. And uh, we're gonna show you exactly what sold, how much it sold for, how much we paid for it. And at the end, we're gonna go through our numbers and tell you how much we actually get to keep. That's right. It was a great weekend. So can't wait to share those numbers with you. Uh, let's dive right into what sold. Friday sales are first. This is everything that sold on eBay and Etsy for us. As Adine mentioned, these are our Friday sales and we had a very strong start to the weekend. I'm going to cover first what we sold on Etsy. The first thing was a VCR and it's by Zenith. No remote. We have $15 into this one and this sold for $75. And that is free shipping on Etsy as well. We also sold another Magnolite on Etsy. This is the second one that is sold and it sold within a few days as well. Adeen picked this up at an estate sale, which you may remember if you follow us on Instagram. He was second in. He paid 28 for this. We got it up very quickly that same day, I believe, and it sold Friday for $150, also free shipping. This is the back. They do have the numbers here, so they're easier to look up and find your comps for. And this is the Wagnerware one, so it's the older one. And also, if you're just looking at photos, remember that these Magnolites have these three little lines on their handles, including their top handle too. So that's a good way to identify them if you're just going by pictures. Another thing I wanted to point out is if you look inside, it's obviously not in perfect condition. There are some general wear signs. This is always disclosed in the photos and we call it out. But this is just natural wear, natural use. I mean, people base their turkey dinners in here. So you're going to see that in older cookware. It's still quality cookware. It was also a good weekend for video games. I'm going to cover a couple of those sales. First, Nintendo 64 cartridge, Mario Kart. As you know, anything Mario generally does tend to sell very well. Fast flip. Facebook Marketplace bundle pickup, we allocated $5 into this specific cartridge and it sold for $45. Also sold this Hyrule Warriors game. This is the first Nintendo Switch game we've sold. We got this from a personal friend bundle. We have $15 allocated to it and it sold for $45 as well. And then the last set that I'm going to cover are the We Just Dance. One, two, three, four. There's five in this set. It's just tans. One, two, three, four. And also the Black Eyed Peas. These are actually really fun games. It's a great way to be active and play video games at the same time. And we have $15 into this set. It's sold for 50. And they came from different bundles. We've been picking up so much Wii stuff lately. And we just go through the games and we see what's good for bundling and what sells fine by itself. So this was a great bundle if you see Just Dances and they're only, you know, a couple bucks. It may be worth picking up if you think you can come across more later to make a bundle out of them. Adina will go over the rest of Friday sales. Speaking of Nintendo Wii, we sold a Nintendo Wii console um, combination bundle uh, to a viewer. Scott, uh, I actually talked to you today, so super, super cool to talk to you in person. Um, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your kind words. I did send uh, the regards to Melinda behind the camera. So we truly appreciate it, um, everything you've said. I really hope that your grandson appreciates uh, the gift and uh, has a lot of fun with it. So that's the first thing I'll show. So this uh, Nintendo Wii, uh, it's complete. A uh, couple of controllers in there, a, a couple of games. It sold for $125 on eBay to Scott. So again, thank you, Scott. Really kind of you. Next up is a pretty rare item. This is a iPod Nano second generation. The cool thing about this thing is that it's brand new sealed. Um, the story behind it is that this belonged, uh, we have three of them for sale. Two of them are open, one is brand new. It belonged to our VP of uh, merchandising at Cisco and when he used to work for a company called McCain's, they actually customized these for them. So behind this iPod, there is a McCain logo. McCain is a, a huge food uh, corporation. So anyways, uh, we got this in a bundle, a private deal. We have about $15 into it and sold for $100 free shipping. 
and uh, it's it's sweet. It sat in the eBay room for like six months before I was like, I should probably list that. The next one I picked up at a garage sale for eight bucks a while ago. So not a not a fast seller, but for fifty dollars with free shipping, this night. Um, Universal Auto Analyzer sold. I thought a couple of things. I didn't really know how to test it. Um, so I thought maybe this would look really good on someone's shelf for decor for whatever. So that's why I picked it up and it does have all the cables and the testers. I doubt anyone is going to actually use it to analyze their car. Um, but it's a pretty neat piece. Saw some decent comps for them. Expected them to sell pretty slow. So hey, 8 or 10, whatever I paid for it into 50 shipped. We'll take it even if it had to sit a little bit longer. Next one is this Tika, so you can see that brand definitely matters, right? A super old Magnolite sold for 150 and this Tika, brand new, in box, only sold for 50 So this is actually made in Brazil. I found this at an estate sale. The original price was $31.97 back in whatever year that was. So it's brand new, still in the original package. Um, I think I paid $6 for it or $8 for it at an estate sale. I'm not 100% sure, but you can see it's been sitting with us for a while since it has a little bit of dust on top. So we'll definitely clean that up before we send it out. Last piece, an article of clothing, my favorite subject, women's clothing. This is uh, Victoria's Secret Pink. You put your butt in there and you go exercising or grocery shopping. It has that dog thing that they're known for. It's glittery. It only took a couple of days to sell it for $23 and we paid four for it. They pay for shipping and uh, we're happy to move it. You know, this type of stuff is lower margin, but Victoria's Secret sells super fast for us. We're gonna get this stuff packed up. Mona's gonna come back and then we're gonna cover Saturday sales. Next up is Saturday sales. As you can see, a lot more electronics to cover. Let's go over it. The next sales that I'm gonna cover were all bought on Friday and they all sold on Saturday. It's a lot of video game stuff. It sells well and it sells fast. The last two that I'm gonna cover are video game consoles and if you didn't catch our last video, I do go over how to test a Wii and how to test a GameCube as well as the Wii accessories like the Guitar Heroes, the drums, all that good stuff. So if you have been staying out of the electronics market because you're intimidated by doing that, Go back, watch that video. There's no reason for you to be intimidated. This is a great market to tap, especially you ladies out there. I know a lot of us stay out of that because it's male dominated. They grew up with video games. I, for one, did not have a single video game growing up and I'm perfectly comfortable testing these. You just have to learn. Once you do it, you're going to be comfortable with it and then you can start moving on, start testing more and upping your game and upping your profits. So by all means, check that out if you haven't already. And I'm gonna go over all the great sales that we made. We're also gonna be doing more testing videos in the future. So that includes sound equipment, VCRs, things that some people tend to pass over because they're not sure how to test it. So stay tuned for those. The first one is Wii Sports Resort. Just a good classic game. Uh, very good to pair with Wiis if you have them. Also good to sell separately like we did. So we sold this one five into $37, free shipping. Now this next one, we don't even have the box for it or the manual. So keep that in mind as I'm covering this, this little GameCube game, it's called Luigi's Mansion. So we have $5 allocated to this as well. It came with a bundle and it sold very fast for $55, just the disc. So that tells you something about some of these games. They're sought after, they're harder to find. You get a great return and you get it back fast. So our next sale is also a viewer sale. It's bought by Christina and she's been watching the channel and she bought it for her sons. Christina, thank you so much. We really hope they have a lot of fun with this. We know they're gonna be happy with it. Tested, it was a lot of fun testing them. So I hope they have as much fun playing with them as we did testing them. So it includes the Guitar Hero 3 game, so it's ready to plug and play. You don't need any other guitar games or anything like that. You just need the Wii system. And then it comes with two guitars. This is the Aerosmith guitar, and this one's just plain white. Very clean, don't have the stickers on them. And I'm gonna flip these around and show you one thing to look for on these guitars that do give them more value. So if you open the battery case, if you look in here, 
So once you open the battery cover, if you see that red octane fire underneath it, it says Lay Paul controller for Nintendo Wii. That Lay Paul is an indicator that your guitars are going to be a higher value to sell. So something to keep in mind when you're placing a value on any Wii guitars that you may be selling. This bundle together sold for $135. The next sale is another Wii console. This is another one that Adine found in his just crazy haul where he was allowed in the back room of one of the thrift stores. They didn't know how to price these and he just got a steal on all this video game equipment. It does have Wii Sports, which is about a $20 game by itself. We do like to bundle them with consoles if we can because it does add value to the console bundle as well. It also has uh, two other random games in there controllers will pop it up. So 25 into this bundle as well and it sold for $130. So this is the GameCube that started that whole crazy haul video. This is what Adine was originally on his way to get. It was a GameCube bundle. Pretty rare to find those at a reasonable price that you're able to flip anything for. So awesome that he came across it. We already sold that Luigi's which was from that same bundle. Already well on the way to being in the profit. And then, then we sold the console as well. The games we paired with the console, just like $5 to $10 games, nothing crazy, but it does mean that you have something to play if you don't have any other GameCube games. Also comes with just a standard memory card, the controllers, everything you need to plug it in. Again, we show you how to test this in the other video. And we have $25 allocated for this specific bundle and it sold for $150 this weekend. Adine's gonna come back, he's gonna go over the rest of everything that sold on Saturday. We have not been listing a lot of shoes and clothes because we haven't processed a lot of shoes or clothes lately, but we did sell two. I'm sorry, I don't have enough for the catwalk this time, so I'm just gonna go back to plain old boring. They sold for. These are Nike Pegasus 35, so super, super bolo if you ever run into them. It says Nike Pegasus right on top and it gives you the actual number. These are in super clean condition. We just had to kind of polish them up a little bit. Barely worn, excellent treads. $55 free shipping is what these sold for. And it took a couple of months, uh, but that's perfectly fine. They're out the door. Another awesome brand to look out for, these Merrells. Uh, we've sold so many Merrells. These sold for $36 shipped. These are hiking women's shoes. Again, super clean, excellent condition, odorless. Um, no flaws on them, just maybe a little bit of dirt, you know, here and there. But overall, super good, super good quality shoe, very desirable. Um, Vibram soles, something you definitely want to mention. If you see that, you want to mention that in your title as well. That definitely gives them a little bit of a boost. Those are the two pairs of shoes that sold for us this weekend. Inside of this shoe is this little guy. This is by far my favorite sale. This is a GameCube, just a memory card, right? This is my favorite sale of the weekend, not because it only it sold for $25. The, the, honestly, the money doesn't matter on this one, to me personally. It's my favorite because it's a knowledge sale, right? And what I mean by that is that like once you keep doing this stuff, you're going to find those little things, little hidden value, little hidden gems and things that other people may just walk by and say, I don't know what that is. That, what is that thing? So this specifically, it's for the Animal Crossing game. If you find Animal Crossing for the GameCube, with this memory card all complete, it's a $100 game all day, every day. We've sold it before, it's awesome. So again, learn, keep expanding your knowledge, get comfortable, like Melinda said, with electronics and make a lot of money. So this came in a bundle that I paid $85 for and just this little guy by itself for 25 is, is awesome. Classic pots and pans sale. This one we probably wouldn't pick up again just because the value isn't there. We paid $4 for it. The brand on it is wherever I believe no it's club it has this pretty neat wood handle on it it only sold for $27 with free shipping so it's about a $10 profit and the last one that I'm gonna cover is awesome uh, you may have seen us sell this type of stuff before I got this for free off of Facebook marketplace in a giant box of free RC cars it was about an hour and a half drive to get all of it but I was okay with it um, it does not work to the best of my knowledge because it's missing the main battery but it does have the control the car and the original box and it sold for seventy dollars in less than a week so look at the title the comps the, or the sale that i pop up 
Notice that I mentioned something like for project or repair and I mentioned that again in the description just to make sure that the buyer knows that I have no idea if it works or not. That's all of the Friday and Saturday sales. We're going to be back either later tonight or tomorrow with all the Sunday sales and go over the numbers of course. Until then, we'll see you later. Everything that's sold on Sunday is here. So let's cover the last section of this What's Sold video. Welcome back everybody. It's Monday now. As you can see, I have a sweater because today is fall in Michigan and yesterday I had a t-shirt on because it was 90 degrees and the middle of summer yesterday. So the first one I'm going to cover for Sunday buys are, is this Guns N' Roses vintage t-shirt. This we allocated $75 to. We bought a $1,000 mystery t-shirt box from Rally Roots and this was one of them. And this sold for our full asking price of $175. We sold another video game, Mario Party 8. Again, video games are really fast sellers for us. When we put up a bunch of these Marios or other desirable titles, we usually expect them to sell within a day or two, which is what happened with this one. We have $5 into it and it sold for $40. We have five or six dollars into this Sony boombox and it sold for $50. These are just really nice cells. They don't usually sit too long, a couple weeks at the most. Just classic, it usually has the radio, pop it in. This is a smaller one, but still good room for profit on it. So this is one that's a little bit different. This is a phone and fax machine, which you might think that fax machines aren't really in use anymore, but a lot of businesses still use faxes. So small businesses may still be looking for that combination just to do business for themselves. It was only seven or eight dollars at our local Goodwill and the bonus is it came with the extra film and there's still film in the unit as well and we didn't actually send a fax but we did go through the functions make sure everything lit up was working all of that good stuff so we're confident that it's going to work whoever ends up getting it and the nice thing about it is that because it's a fax it was undervalued at the thrift store Again, we paid seven or eight for it and it sold on an offer for $76 and it sold within two weeks, I believe. So it didn't sit that long either. Hey, Draculara, I'm so excited to go to our new home. I hope that little girl loves us so much. Yeah, Beretta, I am so tired of sitting in that bag. Ugh, yay. So these girls are very excited to go to their new home. They're one of the stragglers of one of our big monster high buyouts. They, we don't have anything into them at this point. Everything's been accounted for and they sold for $30. Everyone is very happy. Adine will show you the last of what sold this weekend. Pots and pans, our favorites to sell. We had two of them and then some other heavy metal behind us. The first one was this modern, this is a uh, Farberware. Um, the modern stuff doesn't tend to do as well as some of the vintage stuff, but this one is really really clean and it actually went to a viewer so this is going to Tracy Tracy wrote us a really nice note Tracy thank you so much we appreciate it um, you you guys are awesome uh, we can't say enough uh, it's sold for $29 we're gonna get this shipped out to you today and I really hope you like it we have sold wherever before this one is unique because it's a larger piece so we really like that it, it's a five quart USA made and you can take a look at the bottom to see the logo so this is how you can easily identify pots and pans. And of course, just like the one that Melinda covered, this one does have some blemishing on it. But again, it's just from use and it's just an older piece, but they still hold their value. We picked this one up at Goodwill for $4 and it sold for $44 with free shipping. And the best part is that it's super easy to ship them. We're just going to paper wrap them and put them in a box. We bought a $10 pre-owned juicer and we've been parting it out. The comps for the entire unit were like $40 free shipping. And this is already our third sale from it, well into the profit now. This little pusher by itself sold for $18 in free shipping. It's going to be first class. We're just going to bubble wrap it or maybe even find a small cardboard tube to jam it into. Put it in a poly bag and it's out the door. What you got there? Um... It's a good question. All right, here it is. This is a tank top and a tank top. It's two tank tops. Uh, great brand. That's the front and here's the back. This stuff doesn't sell for a whole lot of money, but uh, they sell really fast for us. Uh, in this case, Mona found both these tank tops at Goodwill 
for four dollars each so we have eight dollars into them and they both sold for forty dollars in less than a week so we know Athleta is a super fast flip for us and it's that time of season where ladies are buying you know things to run in and whatever ladies do with these things so lady stuff and the last weekend sale were, were a set of these four vintage, uh, I think Chromex is the brand on them. There are these flour and uh, sugar, coffee, and tea tins. The definitely vintage piece. This one does have a little crack in it, but we did disclose it. They took a little while to sell. We lowered the price on them, and they sold for $50. We paid $8 for the entire set at a garage sale. This did not sell this weekend. This is a hood uh, off of a jacket. I wanted to bring this up because we made an error and I wanted to share that with you so that maybe you can avoid it yourselves. We sold a jacket. It was that Nike Oregon Ducks jacket. Super nice, but we forgot the hood. When we packed it, it must have become unsnapped and we left it in the box. So just a reminder, when you guys are selling whatever you're selling and a reminder to us as well, Take a look at the pictures, take a look at what you have in your hand before you put it in a box, just to make sure that you're not costing yourselves. Because this is a $4 loss, which isn't the end of the world, but it's $4 that we could have kept in our pockets uh, for a pretty simple error. So they reached out to us, asked, we took a look, and luckily we found it. So this is going to get shipped out today as well. Next up, we're going to go through all the numbers and let you guys know what the most expensive items were to ship and go through how much money we get to keep this weekend. Before we get started with the numbers, I just wanted to express our gratitude to everyone that watches our videos. We truly do appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's going to give you an alert every time that we post videos and we have tons of content coming up. And if you like the video, you know, hit the thumbs up for us, tap it, click it, whatever uh, device you're on. It just helps us grow our channel and, and get this video in front of more people. So thank you. Uh, let's get into the numbers. Yeah, one thing before we go over the final numbers is we did forget to mention that we did sell some Pokemon cards on Friday. Yeah. We made a sale to a local neighbor, actually. Uh, mm -hmm. Their kid was interested in them, so that was really fun. We sold them uh, sets for $60. Yeah, and we have nothing into them. We got them a long time ago, and we way, way into the profit from, of course, the hoarder house, if you watch any of our videos. Bless, yeah. bless you, hoarders. That was even before YouTube, unfortunately. Yeah. That yeah. was back in the, just the Instagram days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a good time. So, without further ado, the numbers. Our gross sales this weekend were $2,042. So, another weekend over $2,000. Yeah, uh, it's roughly $700 every single day in gross, which is roughly $350 every single day in cash. That's pretty good. Typically, yeah. somebody that works for 10 bucks an hour makes about $300 a week for 40 hours, and there's no way that we have 40 hours into these sales this week. No way. And the cost of goods was $379. A little bit higher. We had a couple of items that we paid up for. That Rally Roots t-shirt was 75 bucks that we resold for $175. Um, the Nintendo stuff was $25 a pop. And of course that adds up pretty quickly. But fast movers were okay to pay up for stuff. Yeah, and another way to say it, Dean usually says, is we turned $379 into over $2,000. Yeah. So it's still great. Not bad. The shipping was $247.55. We've said it so many times, it's just part of the business, so not, nothing new here. This is what we pay to ship the stuff out. Like Melinda says, if you're going to be in e-commerce, you're going to have to ship something. So this is just the cost of doing business. You don't get taxed on it. You get taxed your net profit, so you have to keep track of it. Right. A couple of the more expensive ones were the $16. You want to share what those were? A couple of the higher dollar shipping costs this week were the Take Out, the um, pressure cooker, that was 15 bucks mm -hmm. to ship it, and then the fax machine was $16 to ship it, and that was a pretty big box going down in Florida. Mm -hmm. But most of the stuff was first class or right around that $8 to $9 range, and this is why we're very comfortable in offering free shipping and building that price right into the cost of, uh, of purchase. So, yeah. yeah, so average is out and just fine. Yeah. And then our fees across all the platforms were about $286. Got to pay to play. That's right. So that leaves us with a net profit of $1,129. That is our pre-tax income. That number, of course, is subject to any applicable federal, state, and local taxes that you would have. Yep. All depends on your bracket, your CPA, your deductions. Uh, that's, that's very, very customized per person, per couple, etc. That's right. 
So there you have it. It was a great weekend for us. Very strong. We're hoping to replicate that again. Oh yeah. Always. Yeah. So we're just gonna keep listing, keep pushing this week. Like Adine said, we do have some new content coming your way soon. We've been trying to make a push for that. Yeah. We've had a lot of comments asking for some of these videos. So excited to share those with you. And if you don't catch the premiere, that's perfectly fine. You can, of course, watch it afterwards. But I do encourage you guys to come check it out during the premiere. You don't have any ads to skip through. And we'll be live in the chat every single Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can ask us direct mm -hmm. questions after each item sells and pick our brains. And we're happy to answer all those questions. So it's just a great way for us to interact in our community. So that'll do it for this video. Again, we hope there was some value in there for you. Mm -hmm. And until next time, take care. Take care.